Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this Baltic watch MR01. I got this watch last year but did not have the time to do a proper review about it back then. Now, here is the video. This is the MR01 Salmon Dial from Baltic Watches. Baltic Watches offers this watch in three different dial colors, salmon, blue and silver. Not having a salmon dial watch, I went for this. I cannot remember which strap I went for together with this watch. I believe I went for the blue, not too sure. This is not the original strap here, so if you're interested to know or take a closer look at that strap, I will link the unboxing video in the top right corner of this video. Since my unboxing video, I know there have been a lot of videos about this watch on YouTube and I'm just gonna jump straight right into what I like and what I do not like about this watch. First up will be the micro rotor movement. Find me a modern micro rotor movement watch at this price point beside this MR01. Yep, I guess that sums it up for the movement, right? With a micro rotor, not only the movement can be made very thin, but it is also allowing that beautiful unobstructed view of the movement because the rotor is actually by the side and not on top of the movement like a lot of the traditional automatic watch movement. Again, to those who complain about the Hangzhou Caliber 5000A, well, um, you should just stop this video and go somewhere else and chill. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, it is not that Baltic is trying to cover up the fact that this movement came from China. They clearly specified this on their website. They also mentioned that most of the watch parts are sourced from Hong Kong. This movement is hand windable but not hackable. Okay, hand windable meaning that I can wind to top up the power reserve. But when I pull out the crown, the second hand does not stop. It's moving, it's still moving. So that is what we meant by non-hackable. It comes with a 42 hours power reserve. Um, accuracy, I cannot find anything on the internet. Maybe we will put it on a time grapher at the end of the video. Yeah, just uh, stay tuned. I'm not sure I'm just going to do it or not, but yeah. Okay, the next thing that I like about this watch is the dial. The textured dial is just to kill for. Being a micro brand that started in 2016, their dial is almost on par with Seiko. You know, the Versace cocktail time series with that beautiful dials. Yeah, I think here they are on par with Seiko and I say that as a compliment. You just look at the texture. Wow. The Arabic numerals give this watch a classic feel, but that small second subdial between 7 and 8 gives it a modern twist. Normally, classic vintage watches have a subdial at the 6 o'clock position and not between 7 and 8. So I guess this is where the twist is. And by looking at it, you will know that this is actually a modern reinterpretation of a classic style watch. Ooh, the best thing about this watch is the size. It comes with 36 millimeter diameter and it has a 44 millimeter lug to lug distance and it is only 9.9 millimeters thick, including the, I would call it a crystal, but I think they call it a glass on the website, but uh, we'll go into that a little later. And it comes with a 20 millimeters lug width. It's a perfect modern days gentleman size watch. Okay, um, that's all I can think of of the positive side. So let's go into something I wouldn't say bad, but uh, I think something that can be better in my own opinion. Okay, first, is the movement. Yes, I mentioned that I like the movement, but not sure if you 
can hear that, but the movement or the rotor, it's a little noisy. It feels like an old Orient precedent automatic movement. Yeah, those kind of movements. And yep, the glass or the crystal. Well, they call it a glass, but it's actually hesalite or it's acrylic. So they mentioned that it has a dome acrylic crystal at the top, but I am not sure about the move, uh, the crystal on the back of the watch. So maybe it's um, acrylic as well, and maybe that's why we are hearing that loud rotor noise because of that acrylic crystal that amplifies that kind of hollowy noise. Well, I wish they went with sapphire or at least a mineral, a mineral glass as acrylic scratches a lot easier. The one last thing that I wish that it can be better will be the bezel. Well, the watch comes with a flat bezel, as you can see, and it is high polish. All right, being high polish, as you know, it's a scratch magnet, it's a smudge magnet. I just wish that they went with a circularly brushed bezel. The crown is um, unsigned, but I'm okay with that. And yes, it comes with drill lux, and that makes swapping the watch band a breeze. So let's put it on the wrist and see how it looks on my 6-inch wrist. Okay, so this is how the watch look on my 6-inch wrist, and I think it's... Okay, it looks proportionally okay. Yes, uh, if you want to complain, I have a small wrist. I'm just sick and tired of people just making fun of it. But yeah, this is how it is. And I really like the size because there is no luck overhang and it is rather thin. Yep, so this is how it looks. Oh, okay, uh, we are interested to know about the watch band. It's a German brand, I think. Uh, it's called Rios. I think I purchased it from Watch Band, Watch Band Center, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not sponsored or anything, but if you're interested to know, yeah. Um, yep, so this is how it looks on my wrist. Okay, don't end yet. I'm going to show you some Easter egg. I'm not sure it's supposed to be called Easter egg or what, but uh, there is some kind of engraving at the lug of the watch. I'm not sure if you can see. Let me just zoom a little closer see baltic micro rotor automatic movement stainless steel which reminds me of uh, what rolex like to do with their luck you know they usually engrave something um here is blank all right so yep um as a summary this watch at 545 euro i think it's not really cheap but to me it's a uh, kind of a competitively priced automatic uh, or competitive sorry competitively priced micro rotor watch and if this is something that is in your alley i would suggest that you pick one up while it is still in stock because usually it will go out of stock pretty soon and for me for that movement and for that crazy dial I think I will keep this in my collection. All right, I guess that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Till then, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh well, uh, plus 10 seconds per day, it's not exactly ideal, but I think it's on the ballpark as an entry-level Seiko 4R35 or 36 movement, so it's not that bad. And again, it depends on the angle, so if I would put it like uh, 6 o'clock down, it's better, but if I put it up, yeah, it's not ideal, but uh, yeah, that's how it is.